Okay. One of the girls here has a good question, so I'm going to ask this one. What experiences have shaped your perspectives on men and women and how they interact? I'll turn it to you first, uh, MLD. Oh, well, I would say, you know, I've been on a lot of dates, so that helps me understand, you know, women from around the world, you know. And then just coaching, you know, 10,000 plus guys since 2019 under, helps me understand, you know, things from men's perspective. I think the one thing that we could do for to kind of fix our dating situation in the United States, the Western countries in general, I think both men and women need to be really objective about where they lie and their value and lower their standards. And both people need to lower their standards. Okay. Get in where you fit both in. Both parties are delusional, you think? Yeah. Okay. Both, and get in where you fit in and then just, you know, get off the market because it's not – it's not fun and games just to be constantly on the market. You know, you want to get out. You want to have an exit strategy, just like we finances. Okay. Your, your answer to finding the right girl is to lower your standards. I think both people have delusional standards. Yes. Really? Absolutely. Yes. He's saying that because men are looking for virgins, and nowadays, oh, that's almost impossible. Yeah. Or they're I mean, fat not impossible. Or very rare, but not impossible. Oh, I, I said almost impossible. Almost. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. Yeah. Um, all right. So, what about you, Stu? What experiences have shaped your perspectives on men and women and how they interact? I think I just don't give a shit anymore. Like, I don't, I don't care what a woman thinks about me. Like, I'm gonna do what I do. If you're there, great. If you're not, don't care. Like, I'm not. My energy is not gonna go toward like, oh my god, I need like I have to have like this woman in my life, yeah. right? No. Um. I love girls. Like, I really do. I think that it's unfortunate that so many girls are forced to be more like men because so many men have basically castrated themselves. There's no testicular fortitude in this country anymore. Do you know that the last girlfriend that I had, I actually flew across the country, like, just to ask her out. Nice. Oh, shit. And she's like, what the fuck? What? And I'm like, yeah, no. She's like, what brings you here? And I'm like, you. And she's like, what? I'm like, yeah, no, seriously. Damn. Like, let's go out. And she's like, that'd be wonderful. No men do that. Like, men are like, like, there's like little boys out here like, yeah, let me get your Snapchat. <laughs> the fuck is that? Dick pic, nigga. <laughs> seriously, like, what? yeah. Hmm. All right. Um, so, did you smash? Yeah, he did. Oh. Come on, man. Yeah, of course. Bro. Yeah. Yeah. On that first date? On that first date? Yep. Uh, yeah. yeah, well, I mean, okay, so, yo, just so, the first date was, it was like a 72-hour deal, so you could consider it the first date, but it was like 25 hours later. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So, did you hit it raw? <laughs> you flew across yep. the country. Yep. I just said, I gotta know. I don't do condoms. Oh, oh shit. Oh, All natural. Shit. Yeah. Fresh. All right. With the JQ and then. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, and th this question I think will be good for you, John. Um, what? And ladies, by the way, when I ask this question, if you want to go ahead and say, I asked that question, that's fine. Uh, if you don't want to, keep it private. That's cool. But that was a good question that I you was asked. the first one. She was oh, also, that was yours? <laughs> she was also not Ukrainian. Uh. <laughs> she was real. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, okay, fair enough. Uh, what impact do you think modern dating culture and technology have on the way men view and treat women? I, I'll hit that with you first, John, because obviously you, this is your uh, your wheelhouse. What Oof. impact do you think modern dating culture and technology have on the way men view and treat women? Oh, man. I don't know. When I come back to America and I see how just, like, American girls post on their Instagram, I'm like, God damn, like, guys put up with this? <laughs> I don't know. It just... It just Mm. Girls here are just really forward about, like, they're, they're not afraid to be looked at as sluts. Okay. All right. And I just think that, like, I don't know. I would never seriously date a girl who has, like, multiple, like, bikini pics on, like, a public profile. Yeah. E even private, too, is just, like, pushing it. I don't know. I just, I just feel like, you know, you're just advertising yourself to, like, the wrong group of people online yeah, because they're at all times. Yours. Yeah. Yeah, I just think it's just dangerous for for both people involved in that. All right, uh, Stu, what's your take on it? Uh, yeah, you know, uh, 
Just say the question one more time. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, it's a long-winded question. It says, uh, this is a good one, though. What impact do you think modern dating culture and technology have on the way men view and treat women? I think it's completely destructive. Okay. Um, modern technology and social media makes makes it really easy for girls to uh, seek the attention of of outside sources. And then it also makes it really easy for guys to be like, hey, uh, that's unacceptable. And so... It destroys relationships before even their inception. Yep. Wait, can I say something? That's why I talk about woman's value because I feel like when a woman does know her value, she doesn't have to do things for attention. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That's why I say that, not to say like, oh, like feminist. I'm just saying like when a woman knows her value, she doesn't Shut up, to Meg. put herself as much out there. Do you know your value? A hundred percent. No. Do you have bikini pics? I don't, yeah. actually don't have any bikini pics anywhere. Do you wear yeah, bikini? You never find one. <laughs> Do you I wear, wear bikinis? bikinis, yeah, when I go swimming to the beach. And you don't take pictures? No, I actually have never had a bikini pic. I posted one yesterday. Yeah, actually, know. today, matter of oh, fact. We know, Coco. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it was okay. a good one, too. <laughs> all right. Um, let's see here. Why does that not surprise <laughs> me at all? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I think definitely social media has hurt um, both genders. I think it hurts women more, though, because uh, they have this uh, mindset that the grass is green on the other side and they can do better because mm -hmm. they get attention. Yep. You know, kind of on a circular wheel at all times from different men of different types of classes and different types of statuses. And what ends up happening comes back to what you were saying. When you get that type of attention as a woman, right? I would argue that women are way more delusional about their dating capabilities than men are. Men are tend to be somewhat realistic, like if a dude's homeless and a bum, he knows he's not going to mm -hmm. get an IG model or a bad bitch, but if a woman's like fat and not attractive, she still thinks she deserves a man that's making 100K per year over six feet tall. So I think social media has definitely hurt both, but I think women have hurt, been hurt from it more because what ends up happening is they follow social media, they think they can do better. Next thing you know, they're 31, 32 years old thinking that they can still compete with the 22-year-olds and they can't. But social media reaffirms a lot of bad decisions by women. So... That's what I think. Um, and then you have like AI, right? Mm. Oh yeah. So you have yeah, girls yeah. that are having conversations with their girlfriends, like yep. at coffee or out for drinks. <laughs> and then what do they see in their feed? Baby girl, you deserve this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You deserve yeah, yeah. that. You deserve that. And yep, yep. and so they're like constantly being Sims inundated. Sims tell them this and other women. Yeah. You deserve the best. Blah blah blah. And right. then you know? and then they're dating you. And who do they go seek for advice? <laughs> women. Other Dumb women. girls. Yeah, that are single, by the way. That are single Hose. and fat yep. and have nothing and they're miserable. And they go seek advice from them. They're like, oh, yeah, girl, you got to get out of that. Why? Why? Because you're unhappy. Y'all get the advice from the worst people ever. Seriously. They do. And, yeah. and, I've, and I've always said this. I, I genuinely <clears throat> believe women give each other the worst advice yes. when it comes to dating and relationships. For sure. Um, a lot of the time, it's stuff that's counterproductive. Oh, leave him. You deserve better. Blah, blah, blah. He cheated on you. You need to leave. When in reality, if you're with a guy that's very attractive and he cheats on you, I tell girls you need to probably stay. Um, you know, are you the wife? Are you the main girl? Does he have kids with you, etc.? You're really going to leave and go meet another guy that's going to do the same shit more than likely? You know, you know, I know it sucks, right? Adultery is terrible. But at the end of the day, if he's providing for you and he cares about you and he would die for you, is it really that big of a deal that he put his dick in another bitch? I mean, obviously it sucks, especially if you're religious, right? Um, but I think from a pragmatic standpoint, as a woman, you need to take your emotions, put them aside, and realize, okay, if I find another man that's like him, that has money and status, etc., what's the likelihood that he's going to do this to me again? I, I disagree with you on that. Okay, fair. The, yeah. what, what? I, th I think that like cheating is absolutely unacceptable. No. Yeah, hundred percent. Right. Fair enough. And, but I'm just saying. I mean, like, look, if I want to go fuck another girl, yeah. I'm just going to tell you, like, yo. Here's the deal. Uh, Fair. I, I agree gotta, with that. I being gotta honest. Go, I got to go do that. Yeah. I agree with that. I actually yeah. advocate for guys being honest with women, too, and yeah. telling them I want to have multiple women and not telling her up front I, I don't want to be monogamous. Yeah. I think being secretive is like... It's bullshit. It's I agree. toxic. It's destructive. And it's like um, you're a coward. Like, yeah, if you're lying, you're a coward because you're scared of the truth. Yeah. But my, here's my thing, though. Let's be honest. Are most guys going to tell girls, oh, I'm going to go fuck this bitch no, right now? No, because most guys aren't brave. They won't do it. They won't do it. So I think women should kind of be prepared for, like, the majority scenario where most guys are not going to be honest with you that they're going to have multiple women. So just if it happens, kind of have it in the back of your mind, like, okay, am I going to really leave this guy who I have kids with because he cheated on me? Ladies, I don't think it's a smart move. Ladies, but. would you rather your man tell you he's going to do it? Or not tell you? Raise tell your me. hand. Hold on. Tell me. Tell, tell you. Tell you. Raise good your question, hand. Good question. Free some. 
Tell me. Threesome. Wait, wait, wait. So got, let's let's so, go raise a hand. So How many of you want him to tell to tell you? Tell you yeah. that he's gonna go have sex with other girls. Raise your hand. Okay, I mean, so I said these Okay, two. and then how many of you are going to leave him once he tells you? Mm. It depends. Are we having a threesome or is he just going to go just go Yeah, it depends. Like, bro, I'll, you, I'll hit a three. Bro, you're so. 19. Okay, okay, so you're 18. I'm if I'm married, if I'm married. Oh, on, nah, nigga, you just said earlier. Yo, yeah, you a little a Coco. Listen, okay, come listen. On, man. <laughs> okay, come hey, on. Oh, I, I stick think, to my word. Yeah, I, I think when girls say that they want the truth. One body count and down with threesome. A lot of them are. I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure about that. Get a high and shit. Can I, I say wait, something from a girl's perspective? Which time were you yeah, lying? Yeah, I'll, I'll say this real quick and then I'll turn it to you. I think a big reason why girls want you to be honest with them and tell them they're going to have sex is so that they can reserve the right to just leave you, right? So they can know the truth and kind of make a decision because girls don't want to... Whenever you, a girl feels like she's being finessed or she's not, she doesn't have the full truth, it, they, they get very angry. So they want to be able to know, okay, you want to have sex with other girls? Okay, I'm not going to take you seriously. I'm not going to put my feelings on the line. I'm going to reserve the right to leave you. I think that's why girls want the honesty. But they don't necessarily want the honesty because they want to help you perpetuate the threesomes and shit but what are you gonna say go ahead oh no i was basically gonna say i would i feel like telling the truth is way better because you we can take it no, you can. as like and give the guy no 100 percent because we can give the guy more respect no you can't from being honest understandable no, that's understandable, I've been, understandable. Like, yeah. it's 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 a hit or miss right like some girls are gonna respect it and be like you know what okay but the reality is, especially if the guy's not that attractive, like let's say the guy got you by the skin of his teeth, you know, you took, went out on a date with him because you thought he was kind of okay, then you ended up like liking him. Like, if he's like an average guy or not that attractive, he's going to lose you when he tells you I want to have other bitches. Only a small percentage of guys can actually be honest with a girl, pull it off, and she stays loyal to him. Because every guy's dream scenario, not every, but most guys, they would want one girl to be loyal to them, right? She's closed, and he's open on his end. Now, if you take a devout Christian guy, a guy that's religious... He's gonna be monogamous, probably, right? Hopefully. Um, Wait but, a minute. Yeah. Who if are your you? guy told you he wanted other hopefully. girls, what would you do? If he wanted to go, then Fuck go somebody. ahead. I mean, live your life, but you, you know, you can't expect the same things when you oh, come you home. Oh, oh, you about you to live that nigga? Truth now, huh? I'm gonna let you live the way you want to live, but, but you can't expect. Yeah, you have the truth, though. Yeah, you have the truth. I mean, I'm still taking the truth, but it's like no, you can't. Let it go. <laughs> you you go. can't control my feelings. They say one thing, I know, yeah, do the other. Well, but yeah. also keep in mind. But then again, it depends. Like if I'm, I'm not married. You gotta be that I'm dude. Married, you know. Yeah, I, you got, and I'm just gonna be one thousand percent with the audience right now. It's gonna be very difficult for you to pull it off where you have a girl and she's loyal to you, and you can have sex with other women. You gotta be fucking successful and have your shit together to do it. And like, even then, being real here, yeah, deep down she won't like it. And but, the, the, but she'll do it for you. Take it from a guy that's doing it right now. It is not easy. You're going to have to have your shit together. You got to have your, your frame on point, etc. How about this? <laughs> like and subscribe to the goddamn channel. <laughs>